All right, I think it's about time we settle this debate once and for all. So if you've been around the channel, especially recently, there's been a huge debate between on what color the tier three or tier four, I can't remember which tier exactly it is, but one of the tiers when upgrading your weapons in zombies is either pink or purple. I personally think it's pink, but I have a lot of people tell me I'm colorblind. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's definitely not pink. We're gonna find out today. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this tier right here. I guess it is tier four, but it is the third one on here. So we're gonna grab it. And we already have a screen cap of this right here. So what we're gonna be doing is plugging this into Photoshop and seeing exactly what color it is. But we're not only taking the color from the armor stand menu. All right, as you may know, within the last season's update, they changed it so wall buy items can change their tier. And right here, as you can see, it is tier four. And here it is almost a very different color than what it is in the armor stand. Also, we'll be taking the color from the actual named weapon down below in the bottom right. So we're taking everything and putting it together to see exactly what color it is. And really quick, you can see that the dark aether skin is mainly purple. There is pinkish tints into it, but this color leans highly into the pink shade rather than the purple. Whereas we look over here at this arrow pointing towards where power is, this definitely leans more into purple as it does on the Dark Aether weapon. So now I'm going to switch into Photoshop and we're going to see what color this really is. All right, now we're here in Photoshop. Our first test is going to be this right here, the tier in the armor stand. So I'm going to grab a few different colors from it because there are different shades around here and we're going to see what they all look like like just as a flat color. So I'm gonna grab from right here in the middle of the right side and just draw a simple line across. To me, right there, that does look like purple. And as you can see in Photoshop, each color has their own hash number. So you can get a very specific shade and color. And right here, this can tell us everything we need to know. And right here, we have the Photoshop color table. This shows the exact hashes of all the shades of purple, the most used shades of purple. So let's see which one this one resembles the most. So over here, we can see it has a red value of 166, which is close to here, this dark orchid. It has a green value of 114, which is close to this medium purple and a blue value of 201. So this one most resembles medium purple. So right there, our first color is guaranteed to be purple. So I might be a little wrong there, but just to make sure, let's go ahead and grab this color here, draw a line of that. It seems to be very similar, just a lighter shade. Also has a very similar number value. So I think we can go ahead and say with certainty that the tier four upgrade on the armor stand is purple, but is it purple on everything else that is shown? Now the next thing to represent this tier is the wall buys. Now here on the wall buys, we can go ahead and grab a color from that, draw a line on it. Now this to me looks way more pink than the armor stand one. Let's go ahead and check the hex values. This one's 240 red, 107 green, 236 blue. And to me, it seems like this represents violet the best out of the purple category. Not necessarily purple, but a shade of it. And just to be sure, let's grab another color from a different portion here. So let's grab it towards the edge. And to me, even clearly before drawing it out, that does look extremely purple. But just to be thorough, let's see if it compares to any of the known purples. Now, it looks like it is extremely close to the default purple here. Now, we have one more test, which is the one I'm the least confident on, and that is the name tag. So, really quick, let's grab one shade from that. And to me, to the naked eye, this looks very lavender. Let's cross-check these codes with our little index. And yeah, that's very similar between the medium purple to medium orchid color. And just to be sure, I'm gonna take the dropper tool and move it around here on the name tag. As you can see, it's not really changing shade too much. So I guess, I guess you guys are right. This is a very purple light color. The only color that is guaranteed to be purple is the very dark part of the wall by weapon on the other areas where we can see this tier's color it does have hints of purple not exactly pure purple leaning more into magenta magenta violet and here on the armor stand one still just shades of purple but in conclusion here it seems like you guys were right i still believe that it is a more of a combination of the two a mix of purple and pink something kind of like this but lighter. But anyways, it was driving me crazy that people were calling this purple. I guess I'll have to agree with you that it's somewhat purple, a very light purple at that. But that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, we had to get down to the bottom of this and see who was right, 
And it looks like you guys had a little bit of upper hand on me. I don't think I'm colorblind. Obviously, you can tell what is purple and what is pink by looking at these two. Just a little differencing in opinion on what constitutes as purple and pink where the line is drawn. So I guess my line was a little off. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Well, all kinds of COD content throughout the week. But that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.